Hi guys, um, actually from trying to record two different videos, I realized you guys, there's not a lot that I've really told you guys about myself, um, other than that we're trying to conceive our third baby. Um, so I'll start off, I'm Janet, um, I live in the United States, I live in the colder part, and that's as much as I'm going to tell you about where I live. Um, I, my husband and I have been married, well now it's, uh, five and a half years. Um, we were high school sweethearts. Um, we were married August 12th, um, which actually was my great grandparents' wedding anniversary. I didn't know when I picked it. And they had the most beautiful relationship. My, actually my great grandfather never called, um, my great grandmother by her name. It was always sweetie and all the pet names. There was never, he never called her by her name. Um, my daughter is named after my great-grandmother. I did really get to know my great-grandparents. Um, my grandmother passed away before I was born, so I never shot. She's my namesake. I was named after her, so I never knew anything about her. Well, I never met her, but my great-grandparents always talked about her, so because of them, I felt like I actually knew my grandmother. So because of that, I had said that when I had a daughter, I wanted to name her after my great-grandmother. Um, and that was actually funny. The first time my husband and I went on a date, <laughs> I told him that if we got married and had a girl, I already had the name picked out. And it was not negotiable. The middle name was negotiable, but yeah. Um, so my son, we call him Mikey. He is two and a half. He'll be three in April. And then my daughter, uh, Tiny. And no, I will not share her real name. On our other channel, I've had quite a few people ask what's her real name. I will not share it. <laughs> we call her Tiny. Um, and there's very obvious reasons. Uh, she was diagnosed with failure to thrive. Um, when she was seven months old, she was 10 pounds, nine ounces. Um, and she was 24 inches. So she was roughly the size of a two month old. Um, we have seen every specialist and she's continuing to, you know, she's getting better. I'm actually at her, her last appointment, she was 14 pounds, eight ounces. Um, but go check out uh, my other channel if you want to know more about her and our, you know, our challenge of trying to get her to gain weight. Um, she was not a preemie. So before anybody asks that, no, she was not a preemie. Um, she was a twin, uh, I lost, well they told us that it was identical twins, um, I lost the twin at about 7-8 weeks, so it was pretty early on, um, but they knew it was identical twins, so they, they were sharing one sack. Um, and then I kind of left it alone and it didn't bother me. That miscarriage did not bother me whatsoever. I don't know why. I well, I was focusing on the baby that I still had, and I knew I had to, you know, relax, be calm. So, so my reaction to this miscarriage that I just had, complete surprise to me. I thought I'd be nice and calm, but no. Uh, but yeah, so when I lost the twin, and then um, we decided we wanted to know the gender. Um, they said, oh, it's a girl, and then when we went in for my appointment, after I lost it, like, the next day, the doctor, that she was actually the one that had told us that we had lost a twin, said, oh, you would have had identical twin girls, which is something that I've always wanted was identical twin girls, because buying girls clothes is fun, and you'd be able to buy two. <laughs> um, so... Um, that if we should have another baby, well, when we do, if it should be a girl, um, she will have the name of the twin um, because we decided that it's a name that's special to me. Um, and it's, I'll, I can, I'll share it with you guys because I think I already did in my, I think, five week pregnancy vlog. Um, Madeline Lillian. So, so 
So because of that, and it's spelled exactly like the books, um, and because of that, we decided that every year on my daughter's birthday that we have bought her, well, we will be buying her, because she's just turned one, um, a different Madeline book. Um, there's quite a few of them. I didn't think there was that many. When we first talked about it, I'm like, oh, but she's going to kind of get out, you know, run out of books really soon, and there's actually quite a few. Um, but they're more of the vintage books, which is hard to find, but that's why they have eBay. Um, so that's my daughter. Um, then I will do a separate video getting more in detail, but um, a week before our wedding, uh, we were in a major car accident. Actually, um, it was um, listed as a horrific accident, meaning somebody was in critical condition or dead. And to find out that it was you, yeah. <laughs> um, and I'll talk about that later. Um, that that was a week before our wedding. I dislocated my hip. Um, my first orthopedic surgeon actually told me that I could never have kids, you know, have a vaginal birth. I would have to have a C-section. So I ended up having a C-section with my son. It bothered me so much because uh, he had some breathing issues when he was first born. And then uh, with my daughter, I wanted to be back so bad because I I knew I could do it. I you know. At that time, I said, I only wanted two kids anyway, so if I dislocate my head and you guys tell me I can't have kids, I got my two. Um, and she was breached, of course. And then I met with a different doctor who actually did surgery on my hip in May. Actually, it said that I would have been fine to have a vaginal birth um, and that I could have actually even had an orthopedic surgeon in the delivery room with me so that way if something's going wrong with my hip or would be able to give a different birthing, you know, technique or different stance that might relieve pressure on my hip or make my hip feel better. Um, so that that is definitely something we're looking into when we have our third baby. Having a orthopedic surgeon at least um, see what one's on call and then meeting with him and things like that. Um, so... There's that. Um, I was also at 13. <laughs> I was diagnosed with syncope. Now, syncope is just a general term for passing out for no explainable reason. Meaning, yes, I my blood pressure just drops. Um, but I know my symptoms so well that I've never hit my head. Um, but because of that, I cannot drive. It is against the law for me to have a license because I have a medical condition and because it's so general and there's nothing to treat it. <laughs> You have a license. Um, so I ride in with my mom because she works. We basically, well, she works at one building. I work at a building completely on my own, which is part of the reason why I'm switching jobs um, because I could, really, I could walk to work if I wanted. Or, well, because I'd be getting out at 10 30 at night. I, it's easier for me to find a ride home than being in an hour away. Um, what else about me? Um, and I guess also, guys, if you want to ask some questions that maybe I didn't answer, um, feel free. This is, I guess, officially my answering questions that I have been asked, but please ask more questions. Um, so that way, that I can answer everybody's questions. So thank you for watching, and, you know, Please subscribe and also check out my other channel so you can see what's going on. And then also I'll, I'll include the link to my um, husband's channel. He doesn't do much, but at least you can see um, videos of uh, Tiny and my son Mikey. So thank you for watching. Bye.